Rape isn't something that a lot of victims want to talk about. For many, the shame and emotional pain is just too much. But a Wisconsin woman who survived years of sexual abuse at the hands of her own dad and brothers has found the strength to share her personal story with others. Today, at the Community Response to Child Abuse Conference in Sioux Falls, Olga Trujillo opened up. She spoke in front of hundreds of law enforcement officers, counselors, and medical professionals with the hope of helping others. They can totally get past it and, and have a really full and happy life. That's her message to other victims. Trujillo is living proof. She says she was first raped by her dad when she was just three years old, but it continued into her early 20s by her brothers. She developed what's called dissociative identity disorder to cope with the abuse. That meant she basically was hiding from her past. Well, my father died when I was 11, and, um, and I basically blocked all the memories of the abuse out until I was about 31. She says when she started having panic attacks, that's when she decided to break her silence. In dealing with those panic attacks, I started to remember all this stuff that happened to me. Now she's speaking out about her dark past. She's even written a book about it because she says part of her healing process was to talk about it, write about it, but not to dwell on it. That's probably my biggest message is kind of one of hope. This was kind of a way to take that really bad experience and turn it into something a little bit more positive. Trujillo, who is an attorney and once worked for the Justice Department, now helps other rape victims with her own organization. To learn more about it, we've provided a link to her website under this story at kettleland.com.